Good morning. It's Saturday and we have a big day planned. We are about to get on the road because we're going to St. George. St. George, quick trip there and back because I've got work at two. We are going to a farm out in St. George called Finney Farms. It is the closest place to us in Vegas. We can get raw dairy quality meats from like an actual farm. So we're gonna go check it out. They're gonna arrest me for this one. Ribeye, short ribs, liver, ground beef. For the game. I thrifted this dress a couple weeks ago. Never wore it. Got the boots on. Morning coffee. That's the best coffee I've made at home in a long time, actually. I've not been vibing with at-home coffee, but that's good. I used, I made cold brew with Black Rifle's organic blend. I used pure organic maple syrup as a sweetener, and then I put a huge, heavy splash of raw milk. Mm-hmm. Cleaning up the kitchen area a little bit, because we're gonna do our thank you cards from the wedding. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Nash. And then it's just blank on the inside, and it has the wood on the back. So cute! These, um, we ordered them at the same time as our invites, so they're actually the exact same theme and everything is the invites. Have these extra leftover stickers on the invites too, like maybe to seal envelope or something. Something cute. Zachary's gonna cook up some burgers on the grill. I'm so excited. I haven't had a burger in like two days. <laughs> That's a long time for me, okay? And we're gonna eat those, get the thank yous done, and then the plan is to go play tennis. It's been a little while since we've done that, and the weather's perfect. The writing's never permanent, it doesn't have to make much sense. Believe me, when it rains, it pours. Erase what's there, start something new, create the person that you choose. Open all the doors for you. Let them in, don't let them read what's written on the wall Bad things are gonna happen if you read into them all The words I could rewrite Erase my walls inside Happy Monday! I did a little shopping Figured I would share it. And the thing about me is I cannot go to Hobby Lobby and not buy something. But I went there to return some flowers we never ended up using for the wedding. I did some browsing. The spring section, insane. Like, it took everything in me to not just fill up a cart. I bought one thing from the spring section. I'm so proud of myself. And one other thing, so I'm gonna start there. This is from the spring section. Do you remember these as a kid? They're the little things that you put the beads in it and then you stick it in the oven and it melts them together and then you hang it like in a window. And then I went in the cross stitching section. I shouldn't have because I have a cross stitch I haven't even started yet, but I saw this one. I had to get it. Are you kidding me? All the house plans? It's so cute. I might leave off the little yellow dots because I don't think I really like that, but the plans are insane. Then I also went to the thrift store. I had big, big plans to like ball out at the thrift store. The selection just wasn't what I was hoping for it to be today. So I only got a couple things. First off, I got this pair of jeans. These are men's jeans. These are the Rustler brand. Oh my gosh, I forgot I got this. I love, I got a skirt. Who is she? I'll talk about that in a minute. Next, I got this shirt. Very beachy. I love this material. It's like so breathable and just airy. And then lastly, 
probably my favorite item. This dress right here, I'm obsessed a little bit on the shorter side, a little shorter than I was hoping, but the rest of it is so perfect, I just couldn't resist. So this might sound silly, but the last few months or so, I've just been feeling convicted to dress more feminine. And I don't know whether that's from like people I'm watching on social media, like people I'm following on Instagram, or it's just like seeing what people are wearing at church or it could be a combination of things maybe it's just the lord tugging on my heart to dress in a more modest feminine way but regardless of the reason i just have been feeling called to dress more feminine dress more modest it's kind of like a little journey that i'm on right now so that's why i wanted to go to the thrift store and see what options they had for longer skirts, dresses that are comfortable and flowy, like you could still do housework in them. And then as well as like cuter blouses. I say blouse, not t-shirt. I'm normally a huge t-shirt gal and I'm not saying I'm never gonna wear, you know, clothes like that again. I just want to put an emphasis on dressing feminine and getting married is making me lean in that direction as well. I truly don't have all the specifics or a great explanation. It's just what's been on my heart recently. It's kind of something I'm enjoying getting into. It's a change that I'm enjoying making. I just think it could be positive overall. And as a side note, I think cute little arm house looking dresses like this one are the best thing to pair with the cowgirl boots. That's my update on that. Today I learned my lesson that when it is windy outside, you need to wear some shorts under your dress or maybe don't wear a dress that day or wear like a really long one. Mine's kind of mid-length today and I was struggling getting through the grocery store parking lot holding my dress down pushing the cart with one arm it was a mess so i'm learning i just wanted to share this because i'm excited about it and it's not something that i ever thought would be me my parents used to always joke that i wanted nothing to do with dresses and skirts and makeup and all of those girly things when i was younger i still don't care about makeup like at all but i do love a good little hair accessory i love some cute dainty jewelry and now i'm getting into like the very feminine clothes and it feels right it feels good i feel like i'm being like the dream wife i always dreamed of being and i just feel really fulfilled so i wanted to share